Hello everyone, welcome back to a <laughs> another makeup free start to the vlog. And if you're new here, my name's Laurie. I don't always look like this. <laughs> but let's just say, look at the colour. This is from the uh, Purity Face Tanning Mist. I love it. Um, tan's holding up. I'm using the new Saint Tropez. Um, I have it here, two seconds. The Saint Tropez Gradual Tan Classic. The one that you can put on as a body lotion every day. And I feel like it's really keeping my tan topped up. I've not topped up since the wedding. Good stuff. If you're new to tanning, this would be a good way to start, I think. But do get the facial mist because that just blows me away every time. Um, I thought I'd start off the vlog here because I've got lots of new uh, Code 8 products to try. I'm going out to take pictures in a minute of one of the new dresses, the vacuum dress from the new in hole. You can just see it in the background there. Um, and I thought I'd share these with you while I get ready. Now I did ask for a new Code 8 day to night foundation. I love Code 8 foundations but all I have is a really, um, I've got two shades and they're quite light. And when I'm using this tan and through summer, summer, I like to just go a little bit deeper on my foundation. So this is W20 and you get such good coverage with this foundation. I wanted to share it with you while I apply it. That's it, simple. You can see there's a yellow tone in there. And that is another thing that I find using this uh, tanning mist is that I don't seem to have to use so much foundation because my skin tone is that much even, that much more even. And I really like that. Missed a bit there. Yeah, nice colour. I don't use it on my eyes because I don't want my eyes darker. I need them lighter. But there you go. Nice colour. A little bit on the neck there. And I shall buff that in. You can see there's just that little hint of olive tone in there. There you go. Right. Let's get the eyes done. Eyebrow. Um, let's try one of the Code 8 pencils. Yep, here's one of the Code 8 pencils. Here you get a brush on the end. been such a fan of the Code 8 now for a couple of years. As you know I use one of their eye palettes literally every day. I rarely ever change it. Even for the um, wedding I still, still wore it. I don't wear a lot of makeup. I just tend to try and keep it as natural as possible. But try and accentuate and hide the age. Right. Always on the lids I use the Rodal Banana Low Lighter. Now I'll show you one eye down and you will see the difference. My eye sockets are quite dark. You need the tiniest amount. And I was using this I was using this under the eye as well, but I just find it a little bit heavy. So I'm 
looking for something new to go under the eyes. It's just a little bit heavy for me. That needs more on there. I'd rather add more than too much. I can hear birds. There you go, look at the difference. It instantly wakes the eyes up. I think it does anyway. But like I said, I don't like wearing it under the eye. It can just look a little bit cakey. It doesn't seem to crease so much on the eyelids with um, my eyeshadow base over the top. But I do find that it creases under my eye. Oh, I can hear children. So there you go, that's lighter. Next I'm going to use the... Um, I'm using things totally the wrong way round. This is Eye Prime by Look Fabulous Forever. You have all seen, or you may not have seen, I did a whole face makeup of Look Fabulous Forever as well on here. I might leave that linked below actually. I do like a lot of their stuff. And that's what I'm going to use to just brighten up under here. Yep, yeah, someone's got something going on in their garden. I can hear children. I hope that's not disturbing you. Yes, it's not quite how I want it, but it does lighten up a little bit. And I'll find this yellow tone, and then you put the lighter here. It does really make a difference to your eyes. Right. Of course, next is my Kodak Kodak eyeshadow that I use. Look, that's my third one and it's dented already. Just on the lid, it just gives that little bit of shimmer. I don't know if you can see that. And you can just dab it on and you can't really go wrong with this product wherever it goes so that's that it just gives that little bit of nice sheen um eyeliner i'm going to use my joan collins eye palette for eyeliner i'm not going to show you the state of this palette i need to order a new one <laughs> you can still buy on the amazon I've had this one for about four years. It's been absolutely amazing and the tweezers were the best ever. I think I did mention it before. And I've lost the tweezers so I thought now is about the right time to buy a new palette. Right. Codate Lash Sophisticate. Now, I've used this loads of times. This isn't new, so... But I do like it. Hoist the old eyelids up. I have had a really bad week. And I'm going to give you a little insight on it. And you all might be able to just... Help me out a little bit. My... Instagram got taken down now as you know as an influencer it's very very important to me and I worked very very hard on my Instagram account for seven years and I posted one day and I got an email saying that my Instagram account had been disabled it didn't say why It had just been taken down and just like that, poof, it was it was gone. 
it was multiplying. Now, then I found out that because of that, my Facebook had been taken down as well. And my Facebook page had, I think, nearly 2,000 followers on it. I have lost a lot of followers, people. It has not been nice at all, especially when you've got brands that are waiting for work as well. And I've not been able to post because I'm just in the hope that I'm going to get this account back. I appealed and I never heard anything. And then... I got an email saying your ad has been approved on Facebook so I'd appealed for my Instagram being taken down when really my Facebook had been hacked adverts were placed on it unbeknown to me and I'd appealed for the wrong thing and I am still Oh, my eyes are watery. So I've appealed. Now, in theory, I shouldn't be able to see my Facebook. But you still can see my Facebook. But I can't log into it or comment on it. So I've had to... I've had to um, create a new Instagram account and I've just created a new Facebook account. I'm going to work on the Instagram first. So if you could please give me a follow. And if you use stories or anything, please give me a share just so that I can build my account up a little bit. I'm nearly in tears. It's just seven years work down the drain just like that I'm just going to put some uh, concealer on my top lip and here because I feel that helps fill the lines in a little bit as well just creates a more even effect just creates a better effect that's what I'm saying when you use light you're bringing it out more so that looks weird now, but when I've when I've buffed that in, it will look better. It's similar to contouring, I suppose. Yeah. So if you could give me a follow, I would be very, very grateful. I just can't believe that it's happened to me. I have watched so many YouTube films. I've read forums, I've taken part in forums and I can't find any way of getting back at all. I'm absolutely gutted. Gutted is the word. So if you could follow me I would really appreciate it. I do lots of different things on there actually so, or I will be. I'm just in the process of filling my grid up and I don't want to fill a grid up straight away because I'm worried I'll get accused of spamming because you can it's like Instagram meta is its own law and if they don't think you're working correctly they will just take you down and you can't there is nothing you can do about it there's no customer service, nothing. It's horrendous, the money that that brand has. And you can't even get in touch with them. It's heartbreaking, really heartbreaking. So, I'm going to try. That's it now. Let's cheer up. <laughs> because I seem so depressed about it. I don't want you all to be like, Oh God, this is boring, you know. She's depressed. Trust me, I have been depressed. Right, I'm going to use one of my Codate lipsticks, lip pencils, Salvador.
I always have to have a deeper lip on when I'm going out taking photos. Just buff that a little bit because they just, makeup just doesn't show up so well. Anyway, I got a new replacement of Wonderlust because my Wonderlust, I'll show you my old one. This is my wanderlust it's literally done i wear it nearly every day and then i've got my own one that was made personally for me don't forget you can as well but this is called vanity i might actually put that on today i might try one of the new ones um i've got a new one here uh, this is called i cannot say Cappadocia, two seconds. Cappadocia, let's have a look and see what this is like. If it's too pink, as you can see, there's a lot of beige tones in that dress. Oh, it's quite, quite a nice shade. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. Yes, so, Luckily, I remember a lot of the accounts, you know, the girls that I've met and known on there the last seven years. And I'm pretty sure I'll get quite a lot of support from them. So hopefully it won't take too long to build up. That is actually really nice. This is what I do. I use a lip brush and then I get these dents. Yes, I like it. I would most probably wash that out a little bit less full on, but because I'm doing photos, I don't mind if it's quite heavy. Um, what else did I get? Oh, a new palette for highlighting. Now this I intended to use as an eyeshadow because I thought it might be similar to the palette that I've just shown you, but it's not. I might actually go in with a little bit of that bronze here. I know it's a highlighting kit but because I make everything so natural yeah that gives a nice little bit of depth let's have a look and see what this does with a brush yeah it's sheeny don't know if you can see that which is nice, it's actually not that colourful. I bet that would look nice on your top lip. Let's have a little go. Because they say if you put a sheen on there, it will lift the bow of the lip. And finally, a new bronzer. I love their bronzers. I use them all the time. I think you already know that if you're a regular. There you go. This one is... Positano. It's actually very deep because, like I said, I spoke to the team oh my goodness yes no that is too much too too much i'm going to have to use that very sparingly yep that's okay once it's blended in i think the light's very deep on the camera at the moment because i look very made up and i don't you'll see in the other mirror in a minute 
when I've got dressed, oh my goodness, one little tiny brush and you're done. <laughs> That'd be great for turning on the neck, which it is. Blend, 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 Laurie, blend. There you go. I shall finish doing the hair now and uh, get dressed, and we will have a look. Just praying that people are going to be able to find me on this new account. Has this ever happened to any of you with your Instagrams or Facebooks? Let me know. If anyone needs any support on following, let me know. I like I like to connect with my followers anyway, it's nice. I like to try and get to know you all and that's exactly what I talk about on YouTube as well. And it's lovely when I get to chat to you all. Oh. going to see the state of this desk in a minute. <laughs> I see it, just leave that for a second, that's what I do, just leave it for a minute and then I'll comb it out. In fact I think I'll get dressed and then comb it out. I'll see you in a minute. Here's said dress and lots of carnage <laughs> behind me. I've paired the dress a little bit different i would most probably wear this a lot more casual but i wanted to show how to elevate the dress a little bit with accessories so i've paired it with my coach bag and my pitta sandals my favorites and i think it looks actually quite nice i do prefer the belt the dress belted as well you've got this thrill detail here and it just sits over the belt nicely but because I'm taking photos for the brand I don't really want to add a belt I need to show the dress how it is and it is really really comfortable I like the length of the sleeves as well and I love the print I like the blue in there I think I'd most probably wear this with my blue espadrilles on a normal day I think they would go perfect. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think the blue pairs really nicely. So I think for a casual everyday, I would wear it like that. But I'm liking how this has turned out as well. So it can be worn both. Very, very comfortable, I must say. Right. I better go because Dee's waiting. She's always waiting, bless her. You can see some new dresses in the background there. Don't look. You'll see them in the next new in vlog. And can you just see? Let me let me turn you round because I wanted you to see the makeup really isn't that heavy. I think it was that light. It was just looking a little bit heavy. Anyway, that's me done. I've just thrown some pearl earrings in. My Nord Green watch and gold bangles for today. So I'll see you when I get back and I'll tell you what I've got planned for the week. <laughs> Look at the hair. It's not good today. I'm having a very scruffy day. Let's put the glasses on because I'm just about to go out. Makes it look a little bit more dressy. Anyway, next day. Uh, Bo, are you going to be a little bit more sociable than that? <laughs> Let's see if I can turn around. Come round this way. Bo, turn round. Come, turn around, 
Kam, kam, kam. Well, kam. No, she's going to be disobedient instead. Oh, look. She say hello that way. Say hello. You're going to say hello to everybody. You don't look very happy. She's not been out for a walk for a couple of days and I need to do that. Dee has had a really bad migraine I don't know if you know she suffers from complicated hemiplegic migraine and oh my god has she been bad we've been together 15 years and I've never known it to be so bad so I'm trying to keep everything as quiet as possible um, I've been out this morning I took the grandson with the daughter to get an eye test I am loving this blouse lot. It's just so easy. So easy to wear. I just love this collar. The neckline on it. It's just such a lovely detail. It's flopping open but I, I like it to be like that. I hate my neck. So I'll try and cover it up as much as possible. Um, yeah, so it's an easy casual outfit. I've been into town, like I said. The grandson needed new glasses, so we sorted that. Um, yeah, just a quick one into town with the daughter. This is what I've worn because we're well past halfway through the day. Um, the white blouse from Brora Cashmere. Like I said, it's so easy to wear. I've got the Damart jeans on because I love them these jeans just fit a treat and I love that they're not skinny they're just straight yeah I need to lose a couple of pounds I'm trying so hard the thing is with losing weight I lose a couple of pounds and I feel good on the body and the face caves in I, I just can't win <laughs> know what's better a little bit more weight and a better face or a slimmer body and a caved in face uh, that's, that seems to be what's happening with me it's driving me nuts maybe I should just exercise I hate exercising um, get back into the yoga um, my arm is a lot better than it was who pulls a muscle doing yoga just me. Let's put that minky old hairbrush away. Uh, pictures have been taken down because we're going to start redoing the bedrooms soon. And ah, it's taking time. It's taking time. And we were supposed to have it done this weekend, actually, but. We've had to cancel it because D is just not well enough. We're heading into London next week actually because um, D's got a couple of hospital appointments that we need to sort out so hopefully we can get something done then. She does actually have drains um, quite often. She's not had one for a while and that might be why the migraines come on maybe so anyway we'll sort that while we're in london um and right now i'm going to get some eggs my son has bought two chickens and he's got eggs galore and it's just found me and said do you want some eggs so i'm gonna go over there and get some eggs so that's gonna save me a couple of pounds a week because i eat a lot of eggs and hasn't shopping gone up so much so yeah I'm gonna go and get some eggs might take you with me um, yeah so that's my day I've got my comfortable hotter sandals on honestly these oh, I love them love them love them I wear them a lot and look, we have a lot of unboxing to do. That is going to be a lot of the new in accessories haul. I need to film that actually before I go away. Right.
I'm going to go and get my chickens. Look, I've barely got any face on even. It's a real scruffy day today. Eggies. Ah. Let's make sure that radio's off. An update on the Instagram. Um, I've just managed to fill out and speak a form and actually speak to someone. I've appealed so many times. I've appealed now so many times and I'm just not getting anywhere. I've opened a new account. Um, I don't know if I told you that the other day. I'll actually leave that below. Um, and if you could, all oh, please give me a follow. It's, it means a lot. But I joined a, a chat group and they were talking about, oh, you're all wonky. They were talking about, um, so many people are getting disabled from Instagram now. I don't know why. It's some people that have got a lot more followers than I had. Um, but there was a link left there where you could actually speak to someone. And I clicked on the link and I've managed to get a form so I've filled that in I'm not building up too much hope I've, I've never known such a big company and you just can't speak to anybody all I get now on both my accounts is you're disabled and that's it everyone they were really lovely how nice to have really fresh eggs even though they are tiny but they will come in abundance now so I'm quite looking forward to having lots of eggs to hand <laughs> I'll show this to my to my son and he will laugh but I filmed his chickens and ate the eggs on YouTube <laughs> I'm hoping for a nice sunny day. I've bought the sunglasses out. I'm just about to water the garden, which I've not done yet. And there is no sun, it's quite cloudy. I've washed my hair and I thought I'd sit out here and have breakfast because I've got to do a reel for dam art. And uh, I'm trying to think of what to do. And I might do a little dance around the plants or whatever. <laughs> I'm just trying to work out what I'm going to do and this dress I've just bought this dress from H&M uh, 
it's literally not long come in the post I wear these all the time in the summer when it's warm and they're great for when you've just put your fake tan on as well because they're nice and loose this one is actually too loose it's too loose I should have uh, the, the first one I ever bought from there it was fine and I really sized up in it and it was a lovely dress I've still got it it's white I think I've shown it on here before I've got a white one now a black one and I saw this pattern and I thought I really like that and I'm a bit disappointed with it but anyway what I wanted to talk about this morning was to uh, clarify a little bit more on this Saint Tropez Trinity facial tanning spray um, a lot of people have asked questions about it so I'm going to run through a couple of the tips or how how I use it. So I spray this straight after I've cleansed on a dry face. Um, I wouldn't use this straight after using retinol, so I don't use it on the day after I've used retinol. So yeah, so straight after tanning, no creams, just wait for it to dry and then apply your creams and I find that's the easiest way. If you put cream on first and then spray, it will be gloopy. So just spray it on a fresh, clean face, nothing else. As soon as this has dried, then you can, uh, then you can add your moisturizer and your SPF and whatever else that you need to use. Just wait for the mist to dry on your face. Now the other thing is that I wanted to clarify, I've seen a few bloggers doing this. Spray, 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 spray. If you spray it too close, it's going to come out really blotchy. I use mine about here, so you literally only just feel the mist on your face. It's just a really, really fine mist. That's it, that's it. Leave that to dry now and then put your moisturiser on. What else could I say about it? Nothing really, that's all you need to know. So clean dry face, no creams, add creams after and don't spray too close to your face because it will come out blotchy. I'm gonna have a cup of tea, put the sunnies on, the sun comes out. Wait for the hair to dry and just chill for five minutes. Ready to start the day. I'm wearing the uh, Denmark shirt dress. I actually really like this. It's very comfortable. It's actually quite warm today. That makes a nice change. It wasn't that sunny, was it, when we were sitting in the garden? But yeah, it's turned out nice. Yeah, so I thought I'd give it a go. I found a nice little spot in the countryside to take a nice picture of this and uh, a little bit of film for reels for my new account that has hardly any followers. <laughs> but we have to soldier on, don't we? And that's what I intend to do. Yes. So that's the look. I need some navy espadrilles in my life these are too light don't get me wrong I wear these a lot but navy would have been better with this dress I'm gonna go on the hunt for some I think so I'll see you when I get back I might even if it's really pretty take some film there as well because it, it was a nice little spot we'll see How lovely, look. You could have a lovely picnic here. So peaceful. Home. And a little bit wing swept. I just looked and I thought, oh, I've got, I've got 
got wings more or less it was quite breezy in that field um nice though really really peaceful i think i'm gonna do a picnic and take the grandchildren up there i think they'll they'll love it a little bit of nature take their bowl it's just nice isn't it and the weather is great i'm just making a cup of tea so i've just just got home and i've come home to a couple of packages that i want to share with you uh, let's get rid of this I'm a really strong tea drinker, that strong. <laughs> Everyone says, how do you have your tea so strong? But that's how I like it, and I like it really hot as well. This is why I get such bad stained teeth though. And I just realized you can see in the background there, the Harrison Sphinx mattress has arrived I can't wait I'm so excited to sleep on that mattress look how wide it is it's so deep look that's my hand it's one two three four hands deep at least That is going to be one bougie mattress. I can't wait. And I can't wait to swap the bedrooms either. So I'll keep you all posted. It's exciting. I'm going to love it. I hate my bedroom with a passion. And I'm hoping what we're going to do is going to remedy it. Anyway, let's get on. Ta-da! Beauty pie, beauty pie. I have a beauty pie unboxing to do. Um, <clears throat> beauty pie is everywhere, isn't it? And do you know, I know a blogger friend that actually discovered beauty pie. Oh, it must be about two years ago when it first launched, maybe a bit longer. And she absolutely raved about it. And she said to me, you've got to try this beauty pie. But I have so much stuff coming in, I don't really need to buy skincare. So I never did. And now it's so popular, isn't it? So, so popular. Uh, the subscription, I'll go into it deeper with you. Um, but I am excited to undo that box because I've heard so many good things now. The brand has just gone from strength to strength and the fact that it's just such a reasonably priced brand as well makes it all the better. So I'm going to take you upstairs in a minute and we'll unbox this. But before that I want to talk about this. And it's Phil. They're uh, well, wellness reinvented supplements and vitamins. Let's have some tea. Sorry, croaky croak there. Um, yeah, supplements and vitamins, and they asked me if I wanted to try some. And I actually chuckled when I just unwrapped this because I did ask for some mood tropics. Uh, these are to help stop you getting stressed. They, they, they promote calmness. And I thought these can't come at a better time, could, could they, with me losing my Instagram account and trying to retrieve it, which I'm not even going to go into. It's just been absolutely horrendous. Um, I can't believe, actually, that Meta, such an enormous company, and uh, you can't speak to anybody. You just can't. All you can do is keep filling in bombs. It has been horrendous. Um, yeah, so I thought these have come at the perfect time and I think these would most probably be great for uh, menopause as well because they're going to help you mood. Um, <clears throat> they most probably do a lot of stuff for menopause as well. I haven't looked that deep into it. But they're all natural 
vegan supplements do almost probably tell me to take more than I need to of these because I think she's just about had enough of me being stressed and going on about that Instagram so I'm looking forward to trying those um, and then we've got some gummies now these are packed with 10 vitamins that we need for your hair hello both for your hair, skin, oh can you smell them, you can't have these, sorry darling, yeah, hair, skin, immune system, and yeah, so I chose these, they're apple flavour, and one of the reasons why I went with this brand, I don't do a lot of uh, vitamin supplements because I have to be careful with my allergies but these are all sugar free 100% natural these actually have a natural sugar in them so there's no aspartame or anything you know no sweetener in it either let's have a look oh I can smell the apple already yeah, so that's what we got, a little squishy gummy. Let's have a little taste. Mm. Yeah, they're not pow they're not a powerfully flavoured gummy at all. start taking these now and I'll fill you in on how they work. I'm really interested in how these are going to be. I mean I must admit I've had a bit of a job sleeping. I'm wondering if they help with that. I've got 20% discount code for the brand uh, feel as well so if you want to take a look all the links, the link, I'm going to leave this link right at the top of the box actually. Yeah. I think when we're older, we all need a little bit of extra help, don't we? Yeah, so I'm interested in seeing how I'm going to get on with these. I will let you know. Right. Let's go upstairs and undo this. Bow in the background. Have you got a soul on? She looks very sulky. It's because I've just been out and she didn't go. <laughs> anyway, let's do this unboxing. What I want to say is I have no idea what's in this box. And excuse the hair, the wings. Um, yeah, I have no idea. I know of one item that I think is in this box because um, I was watching uh, the Lydia Millen. It was one of her vlogs and she had unwrapped a beauty pie holder. And <clears throat> I kicked it in froggy throat. She had opened a beauty pie holder and she had a, an under eye concealer that helps brighten under the eyes. Now I love that banana low lighter but I prefer it for just on top of my eyes. I don't know if I said that earlier this, this week. Um, I just find it goes a little bit cakey under the eyes. So I'm still looking for something better for under the eyes that's not going to be too cakey so I saw her use this and I thought that looks good so when Beauty Pie asked me if I'd like anything in particular I did state that I wanted that so anything else in here I've got no idea what they've given me right so Happiness is beauty pie. Our mission is to deliver the absolute best in beauty non-stop at prices so amazing. Even a splurge is a steal. So 
I think I'm going to go through the prices of this with you as well. I'll get my phone and we'll, we'll look it up. Like I said, I don't know what's in here yet. Um, let me tell you a little bit about Beauty Pie. It's a subscription. So you subscribe to it. I'm not sure if I've got a discount code. I, this has literally just come in the post. So I don't know if I've got a discount code for you. But if I have, it will be down below. So you subscribe to the Beauty Box. You subscribe to Beauty Pie. And then you get all these amazing discounts. They're supposed to be well-named Famous brands repackaged um, at a much lower price. A lot, a lot of bloggers that I've watched are actually they're always trying to guess what the item is in the bottle. So you could get a, a serum, and they will say this is the famous Estee Lauder serum, I think, or blah blah. You know, everyone's trying to guess what the actual brand really is. Let's get into the box. Don't forget to post your beauty pie. I won't. Oh, love packaging. Look, this is how it all comes packaged, all wrapped up. Now I can see a makeup brush straight away. Let's have a look. Good makeup brushes are hard to find. So what one is this? Pro Angled Concealer Brush. Oh, that's a hint that the concealer is in this box. I'm excited. Oh wow. Looks like a good brush. Yeah, that's what you need, isn't it? Something firm, but gentle, if that makes sense. So not this. It's it's a very close, tufted brush. I haven't got anything like this. Yeah, I look forward to using that. I'll have to have a little session, won't we? What's in these? Love all the tissue paper. Oh, there's two. Ah, this is it. Super Luminous Under Eye Genius. I'm excited. It's very well packaged. Oh, I'll go and get my phone and then I can give you the prices. Two seconds. Right, I'm back and I'm on the website. You're going to have to excuse the glasses. Oh, they're not even clean. Right, we got there in the end. Right. What does it say? Why overpay when you can beauty pie? Join thousands of people buying premium beauty products direct from the world's best beauty labs without the ridiculous beauty industry retail and markups. Start your trial. Start your free trial now. Before was the typical retail price, it would be £60. After without ridiculous retail and markup, nineteen pounds. So, what you'd pay sixty pound for is nine is is nineteen pounds. That is how cheap this stuff is. Right, let's have a look. Pro angled concealer brush should be twenty five pounds. Is nine ninety five. So that is not bad at all for that brush is it I'm impressed right now let's have a look at this so this is it
Yeah, you've got a little pinky hue in there. And it's really creamy. Yes, I'm excited to try this. It actually feels a little bit gloopy. I don't know if it, how it will dry up. But that should take away the blueness under your eyes. Um, let's see how much that is. So instead of $24.99, this is $8.99. Amazing, amazing. Right, what else did we have? Super Healthy Skin Ultimate Anti-Aging Cream with Plant Bioactives and Hyaluronic Acid. Well, Hyaluronic Acid, one of my favourites. Let's have a look and see how much this is. There's different collections of as well of skincare. I don't know what one this is. Moisturizers. Right, super healthy skin. Should be a hundred pounds and this is fifteen pounds. I find that hard to believe. How does that work? Doesn't really smell of anything. I'm gonna have to have a good share session. Oh, that feels lovely. I can feel the hydrator in there. I, I, I've gone through so many creams. I'm quite a... What's the word? Oh, yeah, that is nice. It doesn't really smell, and I like that it doesn't smell. Connoisseur, that's the word. I'm quite a connoisseur, I've tried so many creams, I can tell the hydration, look at that to my hand, look. I'm going to try and get on, um, what have we got in here? Triple Hyaluronic Acid, that's going to be good isn't it, an extra boost. Wow, that's a hefty bottle as well. Twist the lid. Yep, that's a nice serum. Yep, straight on the neck. I hate my neck. That doesn't smell of anything. Excellent. And this is... So we're looking for serums. Yeah, should be £60 and this is £19. It's got to be worth looking at. If you, you know, you might only want one particular thing. Save yourself some money. What's this one? Oh, Super Retinol. Oh, and it's for eyes. Now, this is what... Hello. Shut the door a little bit first and then you can get in. That's it. I really want to oil that squeaky door, but Dee won't let me. Because she says, if someone comes in this room that's empty of a night, she will hear it. <laughs> I guess it's clever to be a little bit on the safe side, but that squeak is driving me mad. Anyway, Super Retinol Anti-Wrinkle Eye Cream. So this has got hyaluronic acid as well. This is one thing that I don't have, is retinol for the eyes. I, I think I've got two different ones that I've got on the go at the moment. The packaging's very similar to um, Alpha H that are the best in retinol as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that's quite soft, nice. 
doesn't smell. Right, let's have a look and see if we can find retinol. Twelve pounds. Twelve pounds instead of sixty pounds. That is brilliant. Encapsulated retinol and hyaluronic acid. It makes you wonder if it all works as well. All the ingredients are listed. Very interesting. Right, that's that one. And I've got another big package here. They sent me loads. I've heard about this youth bomb. 360 radiance concentrate with exclusive biolog elastic complex to help firm, lift and tighten, visibly soften lines and wrinkles, boost radiance and enhance luminosity. Wow. Let's have a look and see what this is. Youth bomb. I know a lot of the bloggers are talking about this one, I know it's impressed a lot of people. Right, £185 and this is £44, so this is one of their more expensive pieces. This is going to be interesting, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's a stopper. There you go. I've got no hand left. I've tried so many bits. Hmm, it feels very watery. And not oily, this is going to, you can use that day or night. Anything oily, it makes me really puffy if I put it on it. If I put it on at night, so. Yeah. Super Retinol Night Renewal, <coughs> Night Renewal Moisturiser. I would have liked a cleanser. Don't think there's a cleanser. Vitamin C. Ferulic acid. It doesn't tell you what range it's from. Because they've got different collections. I like the pump sizes so you don't overdo it. Smells a bit buttery. Nice. Let's have a look and see how much this one is. Yeah, it should be seventy pounds, and this is fifteen seventy-nine. I like their packaging. Very good. I'm very excited to try it on. Uh, and the last one, a feather light UVA UVB. SPF 50, brilliant, because it is going to be hot apparently in the next few days, and so important isn't it to have some good SPF, I normally use 30 all through the year, and then when it gets really warm, hot and sunny, then I up the ante and go for a 50, now, I think a lot of uh, 50 SPF, creams can be very, um, I've got <laughs> two lots of glasses on, they can be very chalky and heavy, you know, that's most probably why they're stating that this is super light, oh that is as well, oh it's that runny, really runny, I'm impressed with that, doesn't really smell, I love that none of it smells, and you've got no chalky grey, you know, you can uh, do your cleanse in the morning and then you think, I've got to put my SPF 50 on. And it will literally make your face look three times paler. 
I like that. I know I do already. Brilliant. So that's it. And that was the unboxing. So now I've just got to use it all. I'm going to use it all for a couple of weeks and then I'll give you all the lowdown on uh, what I think about it all. If there's a, a discount code, I'll leave it below. I'm not sure if there is, but that is all just so cheap, isn't it, as well? Yeah. This is going to be the first thing that you're going to see. When I do my makeup, we'll have a little go on this. I'm excited. And I'm going to get ready now for bed before it gets dark, because I also want to uh, update you on the Banish tool that I'm using so I'm going to get ready get in the bathroom and that's the last thing I'm going to do before we leave the film because I did want to update you on it because I'm that impressed with it yeah updating you on this banish kit this is um, the packet that comes in you've got the Super Vitamin C Cream. Now this is good for uh, any acne scarring. You can see I'm nearly three quarters of the way through that now. But it's, it's a lovely cream, it feels great. And then you've got your protective cap for your micro needles. Don't know if you can see them. They are so tiny. And it doesn't hurt at all. And the reason that I wanted this was because of the scarring that I had from wearing the face masks. I discovered that I couldn't wear face masks, not for more than <coughs> not for more than twenty minutes. If I had a face mask on any longer than that, I would get a massive breakout like a a really pussy blister my skin just didn't like it at all I'm, I must have the worst breath in the world um, yeah and it left me with bad scarring I even had to go to hospital about it because my doctor thought it looked very suspect but it, it, it came back clear but it just left me with a lot of scarring but it's nearly gone you'll see when I take the makeup off that's been on um, that the scarring is literally gone and I'm over the moon with it. I moaned so much uh, through the vlogs last year about how hard it was to cover up and it's really worked out. That has been a blessing. And this is what this does. It's uh, micro-needling, tiny little needles that you'll, you just rotate this and it's piercing the skin so it's encouraging it to heal and I think that's exactly what happened create new skin then you put the cream on um, for scarring and it's really good really good let's have a good cleanse um, right so let's have a good cleanse get the eye makeup removed as always, the simple eye makeup remover. That's bowed outside the door. I cannot be anywhere without that dog. She can hear me talking. Come on then. You coming in? Come on. Hmm. After all that, she didn't want to come in. I've got stuff everywhere on the landing because of all the decorating that's just about to happen. It's going to be mayhem. I'm dreading it. Right. Uh, I've got quite a heavy makeup on today because I've been out doing those photos. And this is one of my favourites, the um, SC Lauder. Perfectly clean. Foaming cleanser. I've used this for years and years. I think I've used this nearly as long as I've used 8 hour cream. And you only need the tiniest amount. 
excuse the tap running, I will always just add a little drop of water to it. And look how far that's gone. And I think it's important to have a really good cleanse before you do any type of microneedling. Want those needles to be clean and not on dirty skin. Right. Use the tap. A little bit more water and that will foam up. one of the longest lasting uh, cleansers I've ever used. Always recommend having this in your beauty drawer because it's it's a really good this will it will give you a deep cleanse as you can see. Right now I'm gonna get on with this. The other thing I like about this is I'm getting large pores here so I'm using it here as well, so I just juggle it round, twist, juggle, you can barely feel it, juggle, down a bit, this is where the large pores are, and I'm trying to tighten those up, I don't know why I'm whispering, he's not even in bed. I feel like I need to be quiet because it's echoey, I guess. Yeah, you almost probably see that reddening up. Yeah, you can see. So that's piercing that skin, and that skin's going to say repair, repair. And that's how it works twist, toggle, twist. And that is literally it. It doesn't take long at all. But look, nearly all the scarring is gone. It's literally gone, all of it. Unbelievable. And that's it, done. So now I'm gonna apply the cream. I use that lid. And I've got some surgical stir it in there and that will clean that for the next time you always must clean your micro needles. And I put this on all over. I don't even use an eye cream. It's not overly oily. That's it. And that's it. Quick skincare. A little bit of eight hour cream on the lips. Always. And it's not just the lips, I go all round. Help keep those lines at bay. So that's it, yeah. I've got a discount code for Banish as well. So do take a look if you've got any type of scarring. It's worth taking a look at, or large pores for that matter. Right, I'm gonna go and watch some TV, cup of tea, chill out for the rest of the evening, and I'll bid you good night, actually. I'm gonna end the vlog here. So if you've enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up, and please subscribe if you're new. Um, I'll see you in the next one.